What is up Pats Nation? It is Patriots Global here with another video. Now before I get into the actual topic of this video, I just want to make an announcement that wide receiver Golden Tate will not be a New England Patriot. He has officially signed a four year, year deal with the New York Giants. Now I really don't understand this. Now I understand it from the Giants perspective, but I don't understand this from his perspective. He really said that it came down to the Steelers and Patriots, and then he signs with a totally different team. But, okay. So the Patriots have signed wide receiver Bruce Ellington. Today, the Patriots have had a lot of meetings with free agents, mostly defensive linemen, but they have brought in quite a few receivers to have workouts with today. And Bruce Ellington was one of those, and it just so happened that the Patriots liked him enough to sign him to a deal. Now the deal is worth just one year and how much money we do not know yet once we do figure out again I will pin it in the comments below. But this is definitely a decent pickup. Now this is not a pickup that I am even going to try to overhype nor would I ever over or under hype a signing. I'm going to give you guys the honest to god truth. Depending on how much money they actually give him this could definitely be a low risk high reward type of signing. What I'll start off by saying is that Ellington has definitely seen quite a few NFL teams since getting drafted in the fourth round of the 2014 draft. He started his career originally with the San Francisco 49ers before joining the New York Jets for a couple of days in the summer of 2017. He's five foot nine, 200 pounds, so he isn't a big guy. He is not a guy that is going to bring height or anything like that to the receiver group. But he was then picked up by the Houston Texans to play a team led by former Patriots offense coordinator Bill O'Brien. And in 14 games in the Bill O'Brien system, Ellington caught 37 passes for 422 yards and 3 touchdowns. In 2018, Ellington was placed on injured reserve and subsequently was released off the list again. After getting released by the Houston Texans, the Detroit Lions then picked him up and he went on to appear in just four games for the team before his release in February. And with the Lions, the 27-year-old caught 23 passes for a combined 132 yards. So all in all, he finished the 2018 season with 31 receptions for 224 yards and just one touchdown. Like I mentioned, this is not going to be a high name type of receiver. This is not a Golden Tate or Randall Cobb type of guy. What he is going to add to the New England Patriots system and what he's going to bring to Tom Brady and the rest of the receiver group is that he adds speed. If you go and you watch these guys highlights, he is a decently fast guy. Now, I'm not saying he's like Julio Jones, Brandon Cooks type fast but this guy is visibly fast and he has experience i mean like i just mentioned he had been with several different teams so he knows kind of what to expect he knows different teams systems so really we're kind of just going to have to see on how he reacts to the patriots system but most importantly the patriots add depth at the shallow wide receiver group he will now join julian edelman and recently re-signed philip dorsett in the group and for me, Bruce Ellington is not a guy that I am going to sit here and be like, all right, he is going to be a huge contributor for next season. I am not even going to sit here and tell you that he will play next season. Because depending on how he does in training camp, in OTAs, how he really reacts with Tom Brady and the rest of the coaching staff, he could possibly be a release candidate. Candidate. I mean, he's not someone who is so beyond talented that the Patriots just wouldn't release. Now, with that being said, I definitely think he has the edge over at least most guys right now because he has experience as a kick returner and even a punt returner as well. And you look at the Patriots' needs and yet again, both punt returner and kick returner are in need. The Patriots don't have Cordero Patterson anymore. He went and he signed a deal with the Chicago Bears. So yet again, for the consecutive season, the Patriots will be looking for someone to be able to do kickoff and punt returns. And Bruce Ellington is a definitely a guy that can do that. 
Over the course of his NFL career, he ran back 48 punts for 372 yards and a 7.8 average, as well as 50 kickoffs for 1,279 yards and an average of 25.6 yards per, per run back. So he has the ability to do this, and it's not that he's bad at it, but he's without a doubt not a threat at it like Cordero Patterson was. Now, most important is kind of where does he fit as a wide receiver on the Patriots group? I know a lot of you guys in the comments are always telling me how you want the Patriots to sign a wide receiver to play the outside. Well, you're really not going to get that with Bruce Ellington. Now, he has played on the outside. He can play on the outside, but he really is mainly a slot type of receiver. And if you want to get the best out of him, then that's most likely where you will need to play him. And without a doubt, honestly, I don't have a doubt in my mind that that is where the New England Patriots are going to try him. Now, if he does make it, say, to the season, you know, next year, I definitely believe that the Patriots will play him on the outside. You know, he he's a guy that can play, like I said, multiple positions. So he has that versatility and Bill Belichick will definitely take advantage of that, but his main purpose is in the slot. And, I mean, a fast guy in the slot could potentially be good for Tom Brady. Now, the Patriots are definitely familiar with Bruce Ellington, as he has had pretty good games against the Patriots in the past. Now, in the 2018 opener at Gillette Stadium for the Texans game, he made four catches for 37 yards and a touchdown. In week three of 2017 at Gillette, also with the Texans, he made four catches for 59 yards and a score. So that's most likely how the Patriots have the familiarity with him. And lastly, really the question for me isn't if he can produce in the Patriots system. I believe he has the ability to, and I believe he can, especially from what we've seen he's done with other teams. I don't think he's a 1,000 yard receiver, but I definitely think he could possibly make an impact. But what, what I do have a question about is his ability to stay healthy. He has dealt with hamstring injuries throughout his career and has even had part of his hamstring surgically removed. Not to mention the fact that he also dealt with a back injury last season with the Lions. So just something that, you know, if you're going to be concerned about, it would be that. But that is it for today's video. A lot of you guys wanted the Patriots to be signing wide receivers. And while it is not going to be Golden Tate, you got Bruce Ellington. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you guys like and subscribe as it helps me and the channel out very, very, very much. Make sure you guys share this with everybody who knows some of the Patriots global family. Other than that, I will catch you guys in another video.